What's up, YouTube? So today, I'm going to give you guys my opinion of doing like security and things of that nature. You know, as you guys know, if you know, I used to work with George Floyd and Derek Chauvin and obviously other people at a nightclub in South Minneapolis, you know? So that was my first experience doing any kind of security aside from my own, right? And what I came to really, I guess, find out, you guys, is that, like, as far as, like, nightclub security, we'll start with nightclub security because there's different kinds, okay? So, as far as nightclub security, we'll start with that. That is insane man that's not for me and i learned that working with these fools at the nightclub because i have a bad temper so i'm not gonna sit there and babysit you and like coax you down the steps and out there like i'm throwing your ass like a slingshot out the front door okay not fucking with you right i remember one day the owner was like nick you you can't you're gonna kill somebody doing that. I'm like, all right, all right, true, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? Because I really didn't give a fuck if you were this big or this big. I'm throwing your ass out the door. I'm gonna level you, right? I just really can't be playing games with you, right? So, I guess the pinnacle was one night, and this is a paisa bar, right? So one a club, whatever the fuck. They'd have like acts like, I guess I, can, I don't even remember any of them, but like, what's that dude's name? El Commander or some shit like that. Like motherfuckers like that. And they'd have other, they had different types of shit, but they had like real, real huge, um, some Ortiz dude, I forgot his name. He got a beard and shit. They all wear fucking cowboy hats and shit. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not into this. I'm just working, mind you guys. I get out of prison, so I'm fucking trying to change my life around, so I'm working security, right? So it gets to a point one night. I have a few little scuffles, nothing major by any means at all. Throw a couple suckers around, choke a couple of fools out, you know what I'm saying? Toss the, you know, couple of motherfuckers around. And I, you know, it was to the point where, but I started to realize I don't have no real personal problems with none of these dudes, man. This is just bullshit at the end of the day for like $12, $13 an hour, whatever it was, you know, I don't, 14 I don't even fucking remember, you guys. I'd be lying if I told you, but I know it wasn't shit. I know it wasn't worth it. You know what I'm saying? So, so I'm working at this nightclub, you know, fucking... Playing fucking whatever the fuck, right? And uh, it's like I'm finding myself putting my hands on people that I really don't have a problem with, right? So start to kind of come to the conclusion that maybe this just ain't for me, right? So one day this motherfucker walks up. I don't remember what it was about. But I must have had to tell him he couldn't come in or this or that. Or the owner was probably like, he's out of here. Whatever the fuck it was, right? It was him and his boy. And uh, he ran up on me. It was like, something, something. Puto. I don't speak Spanish, but I know what that means, motherfucker. But he came like chest to chest with me, right? In front of the police. And I'm like, and just threw his ass like, man, like damn near into the street, right? But he was like skipping back, losing his, you know, so the more he tripped and fell and couldn't catch his feet, he was just more falling backwards. He hit his homie in the face as he was like flailing backwards, right? He hits his homie in the face who was in the process of having his back, right? So, is it here? So now, dude's like getting up off the ground and it was either him or his homie that came at me, but it was really both of them. And I went to just level the dude. And right before my punch hit him, my homie Luis grabbed him in a chokehold and just slammed him to the ground like he was supposed to, because I'm fighting two people, right? And if I'm not mistaken, Derek Chauvin just stood there 
You know what I'm saying? And and just really, I mean, it's a cop. Like, he's really, we all kind of worked alongside each other, obviously. So this was hella awkward to me, but I still didn't even care, right? So as far as, like, what I did or didn't do to somebody that was out of line, I didn't give a fuck if a cop was standing right there, right? So... They don't really get into it. So, as I'm like, as I'm about to level do, like I said, my homie slammed slammed to the ground. That was about as bad as it got. You know what I'm saying? As far as like, so that that really ain't shit. You know, so I so it escalated to one night. There's like some kind of song or something. I don't know what it is, man, but they all break their beer bottles and like get beer all over the floor like the whole nightclub like an inch. I don't know why they let them do it. Crazy shit, right? What is this, you guys? Uh, anybody that knows about this, tell me what that is, man. It's something because I've seen it. I swear I've seen it happen on more than one occasion. It's like it's like a certain song. I don't know what it is, man, but there's something that triggered it, right? And it was like some kind of celebration. So it's fucking beer all over the floor. Motherfuckers got to fight and throwing beer bottles at each other. And that's said, okay, now, now this changes things now. When you're throwing beer bottles, those are like live grenades to me. You know what I'm saying? Like now, now it's pot- I could potentially catch a body doing this shit right here. And I'm like, no, nah, I can't do that. I got to stop being a security guard as far as, as far as like, in nightclubs and shit like that. Like, I I had to stop doing security. I drew the conclusion that I was too violent to be doing security as far as, like, nightclub shit. You know what I'm saying? And kind of figured out that shit ain't really for me as far as that. Now, as far as, like, other types of security, like, one of my homies owns a pawn shop. Guy I fuck with a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I'll, like, if somebody comes in and pawns, like, let's say, like, a ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 chain or item or something heavy like that, he'll call me to escort him out at the end of the night because people have came and pawned shit, know now he has the money, and came back and stuck him and just all type of fool shit. So I back him up and sometimes still do services for him. But um, that nightclub shit, I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? And it's like during the riots... I did security for like a couple of people who I was real cool with who had stores who was, you know, really at risk of just their whole shit getting fucked up. You know what I'm saying? But you need like certain type of like equipment and things of that nature to do shit like that, you guys. And you got to make sure that like you got all your certificates, documents, whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes your boss or whatever will have to get you certain letters and things of that nature depending on your situation you know what i'm saying but um i don't really like doing it though man i've been shot before you know what i'm saying i I got a titanium rod from my knee to my hip i got a bullet still lodged in my pelvic area man so i take this shit pretty seriously man but um but yeah like you know people's stores were getting looted it's still happening from time to time so you know doing security it just depends on what you're, who you're doing it with and what y'all are really up to and things of that nature, man. But just nightclub security, I'll tell you, don't go near it. Don't go near that shit. Nope, not for that little chump change. You know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> hell no, man. Nope. You got to find you a job that's going to pay you what you're worth. You know what I'm saying? As far as any type of shit like that, man. Like, You know? But, you know, ever since Minneapolis has been all fucked up and shit, it's, like, not really hard to find people, you know what I'm saying, here and there. But I'm never doing no nightclub shit again. Like, fuck that, man. Like, And honestly, just like I quit being a nightclub security dude, Derek Chauvin should have quit being a cop. He shot three people. No, he shot two people, killed one, and then killed George Floyd. You know, so dude actually had a body before George Floyd, man. He should have just stopped being a cop, man. Like, 
something was wrong with you, your temper's too bad, I don't know what the fuck was wrong with that dude, honestly, you guys, now that I think back on it, he almost seemed like, I might say a little slow, maybe, and this is something I just, I'm like, damn, was he a little slow, like, or was he just a quiet motherfucker, I don't know, you know what I'm saying, but i probably seen him at least 50 to 100 times, you know, he knew me by face, he actually offered me a ride to work one day when I, I was sitting at the bus stop because I was like trying to be a square when I got the joint, right? Didn't want to drive without a license, none of that shit, right? So I'm sitting at a bus stop about like a mile or two away from work on Lake Street. And he like pulled up on me. He had somebody with him, another cop. And he was like, hey, man, you want a ride to work? And honestly, you guys, I don't think I took that ride, but I don't even fucking remember something something about that I just don't remember I can't see myself getting in the back of a squad car though because then I don't know how I get out I could I don't think I would have got in the back of his car can't see that happening man but my memory kind of just goes blank for that little second there there's no way I would have gotten in his squad car I just can't see it you know but yeah as far as nightclub security that's my experience doing it you know that's how I stumbled into this situation so that's what that is